Hello my lovelies, if you love a strong perfume that is quite intense in its olfactory experience and also it lasts then this is the list for you and I've got 11 fragrances today for you and by the way my name is Monica and this is a perfume and luxury channel so if you enjoy these topics I encourage you to subscribe I would love for you to subscribe so you get notified when I post my next video but let's jump straight into this list and the first item on this list it is is a base a lamp de cartage or de parfum i'm not sure how available it is still i'll try to find it and link it down for you below but this fragrance is if you're an amber lover then you have to try it out it's a super fine sprayer it's this intense spicy warming amber that is just so deep and dark i mean when you smell it you can smell that it's very airy in the way that it just expands you smell it and it's a super intense experience the quality is amazing in this fragrance and this is like a wow just a wow amber fragrance really really strong intense if you love your amber i mean you have to try it out it's one of those little gems um that not everybody knows about so that is a good thing too if you're somebody who loves perfumes and loves discovering like really unique under the radar ones try this one out next the strongest perfume in my collection probably and it's a newer one in my collection but man is it strong this is no joke okay Nishane Man or Mana I'm not sure how you pronounce it I'll link it down below so you know which one it is but this is the bottle it's a niche scent and it's a oud scent it's a very strong oud Turkish rose patchouli got sandalwood you've got pepper in here it's such a elaborate masterfully down oud it's a very dry oud i would say and it's super spicy it sticks to your skin i mean it just lasts and it's super strong the sillage of this perfume is no jokes i don't know if you could apply like 10 sprays of it i think you would be dead maybe this is a perfume that is like one two sprays max for me personally but if you love stronger perfumes maybe three four sprays it's what you pay for this quality oud it like oud is a very expensive fragrance oil so you need to pay good money for this oud oil to be natural to be the real oud um, fragrance so this is one of those it smells insane if you love strong fragrances look no further next up is another beautiful fragrance it's new york fifth avenue from fragrance du bois this fragrance is strong in a different way i would say this is strong but in a cocooning way it's very caramelly oud cashmere in which just feels like a scarf around you it's caramel it's a bit of rose it's like a very dense cocooning experience this also smells quite clean to me which is very nice because although it's like cocooning it's not necessarily very very sweet it's quite clean still very good niche fragrance if you like something that is really strong this is supposed to smell like new york winter like with its snow and everything and i can totally get that feeling from this fragrance in really cold weather this would feel heavenly next up a super strong fragrance this one is a more of a recent perfume in my collection is valentino born in roma donna eau de parfum this perfume is super strong from my own experience my husband was like complimenting it all day he was smelling it like everywhere it's one that i wasn't necessarily like smelling very if you're into strong perfumes that like you don't want to necessarily smell very strong like up your nose but you want other people to be really impressed by your fragrance and for this fragrance to be very strong then this is a good one because when you apply it like i was able to enjoy it like still smell it but it wasn't nauseating it wasn't too strong for me like 
on me but Maji was really able to smell it from very far and this is like a pretty young vibrant youthful floral fragrance with a bit of fruitiness and it smells quite sweet but also fresh so a really fun one this is like a no-brainer for me it's such a good fragrance to have and just wear like I wear it so often now because I just crave it it's so easy to wear but it's still strong let me know what is a strong fragrance that you really enjoy and it's one of the strongest ones in your collection i'd love to discover some more new ones because i think a lot of us really love strong fragrances there's always an occasion to wear a strong fragrance next up i chose oud for greatness from initio this is known to be a very strong uh, scent this is an oud scent but this doesn't necessarily i wouldn't say have the oud oil in it i think it's more of an artificial note it just smells more woody i would say very woody and kind of transparent think like baccarat rouge sort of a woody transparentness but then with loads of spices and some red fruits it's such a fun fragrance this was actually the first ever oud scent that i fell in love with before that i didn't like oud and this was like my gateway like a very kind of introductory oud <laughs> that made me fall in love with actual oud fragrances so this one if you're scared of oud or if you think oh i don't like oud this still give it a try because it's not that oody not animalic at all and it's a fun one it projects like crazy this one is a strong fragrance will really boost your confidence i would wear this if i was going on an interview <laughs> i'd be like i'm wearing this i want this job and come on like give it to me this is a very like attractive strong projecting fragrance excellent for mini show next up is another strong scent another amber one i think a lot of amber fragrances are quite strong maybe it's only me but i think so this one is so strong it's ambra from jerobaume and it's the extrait de parfum this oh it's so just good i mean amber fragrances i love amber fragrances and i've got a lot of them but each of them is a bit different to me for example this one is a bit more calming of an amber it's not as spicy as for example the first one that i told you about this one is a bit more boozy a bit more earthy as well and it oh it's just magical it's very elegant amber i would say it's really strong really long lasting as well sometimes they go hand in hand strong strength and longevity this one a bit chocolatey even oh if you love this like dessert amber but you want it a bit more earthy and then this is stunning in the fragrance the quality is there and i love the size of it because you can just pop it in your bag and it's so easy uh, and because of the extrait it's still a very very strong fragrance next up we've got Delina from Parfum de Mali. This is a strong, strong scent to me. Sometimes it's too strong. I keep saying it. I am very careful with how many sprays I apply of this one because Delina is a strong rose scent. It's one of those that people just are obsessed with. It's a niche fragrance that anybody could just absolutely love you know some niche fragrances sometimes are a bit ridiculous quote unquote just because they're a bit like harder to understand or a bit weird and people are like oh this one is one of those that is just so easy and everybody will love the way you smell of this one i love the bottle as well it's every day for me but it could easily go day to night as well just because of the intensity of it it can be quite sexy it can even be worn on a night out or something like that so it's super versatile although to me a rose like a light lighter rose is quite pretty and every day in my collection but depends on your collection i guess but super strong really nice i recommend it to everybody it's so good and next up is a blind buy fragrance i just blind bought it because i felt like it and it is a win it is a chopard oud malaki this scent it's so so good 
it's one of those that I wasn't expecting it to smell the way it smells from the name I was expecting it to be much more oud dominant but this to me it actually reminds me of uh, some penhaligon fragrances like halfetti and the blazing mr sam it's a coconutty sandalwood sort of a scent it's very calming it's even a bit minty it's so inviting so warm i would say if you love a fragrance that's it just exudes like class and to me penhaligon fragrances and this one they just seem like worldly they're just very luxurious and this is a scent that you can get um, at discounters a lot and it's a beautiful scent if you love that sort of like a dusty woody woody scent like penhaligon often does those dusty woody like you're walking into an old library sort of a scent if you love that then this is a strong perfume that you'll really really love next up we've got tobacco vanille from tom ford this is a scent so strong i often wear it around christmas time it's got tons of christmas spices in here like cinnamon kind of smells like a ginger cookie gingerbread cookie really lovely vanilla that tobacco is nicely blended in here it does smell a bit more unisex i would say if you love that then you'll love this it's a very strong fragrance super comforting especially during colder season there's like nothing quite like this i just love love wearing it on the scarf it lasts forever literally forever and it's totally worth the money next up we've got portrait of a lady from frederick mal scent that is super strong this is if you love rose you have to check out this one it's a i think it's a holy grail sort of fragrance a lot of people will know it reference it and it's one of those that is a heavy but light rose it's such a cool experience it's um, a bit more like a i would say jam filling sort of a rose especially in polish donuts oh i love polish donuts it's not as sweet as it is in english donuts so don't think about that but like a english we're talking about donuts i love donuts <laughs> take the english donut filling and then like make it not as sweet that's what i'm talking about this kind of like rose jam filling Ooh, so good and then it's spicy I believe it's got some carnation uh, in here and it's also got patchouli it's such an interesting strong scent this is really i would say classy interesting a bit artsy it's one that could be your signature scent easily it can go all year round pretty much it's more of an intense experience but it could go all year round because how it just has a lightness to it although it's got still some depth to it if you love patchouli and rose this is moorish addictive okay and we've got also umbra sultan from serge lutin serge lutin oh and i can't open this this is a bad sign mm -mm -mm. another umber fragrance i mean i told you umber is one of those notes that if you want a strong fragrance look for umber actually i should have added also grand Soir from mfk to this list this is also an umber scent and it's super good a bit of on a denser side uh, so if you like a more wintry cold weather fragrance then that one is really amazing this scent it's another umber but to me this is more of a fun edible slightly nutty umber it's one of those that is really just like i want to eat it i feel like i'm smelling this i'm walking into a house somebody's baking with some spices like some umbery warmth some vanilla and i just want to eat it this is that sort of an umber really love it it's quite sweet so it's sweet in this like ice sugary sort of a way it's also boozy so totally a cooking sort of a concoction of a scent really intense this one is one of the best Serge Lutin uh, fragrances if you love Chergouille uh, but you want something a tad bit lighter and more just 
uplifting than this one. I would say it's much more wearable than shagui uh, for like just on an everyday basis. Let me know where are you watching from? I would love to know where you are whilst watching me because I think it's really interesting to be connected through YouTube. So let me know down in the comments below. I'll link all of these perfumes, of course, in the description and all the best deals, any codes I've got for them. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.